Let's look at how we can convert a fraction like 57 over 100 into a decimal. Well, 57 over 100 is just equal to 50 plus 7 over 100. So it's 50 over 100 plus 7 over 100. Now, 50 over 100 is a fraction that we can simplify. And if we divide top and bottom of this fraction by 10, we will get 5 over 10. And we'll leave the 7 over 100 as it is. Now it's very easy to see in terms of our place value. We've got no units. We've got 5 tenths and we've got 7 hundredths. So we get 0, 0,57 as we always have. Now I'm also going to show you a little trick that helps us to do this more easily. If, for example, you have a look at this 57 over 100, you will see that there are two zeros in the denominator. This gives us the hint of how we can do the little trick. We start at the end and we just simply move two steps back and put the comma there and that will tell us that the fraction the decimal that it is equivalent to is 0, 0,57. Let's do another example um, using both the trick, but first we will do the um, more explaining way. So let's have a look at something like 23 over 1,000. This is equal to 20 over 1,000 plus 3 over 1,000. Again, we can now simplify that fraction, 20 over 1,000. In this case, we can divide top and bottom of the fraction by 10, and that will give us 2 over 100. And this tells us what our decimal will be. 23 over 1,000 has got two hundreds in it, two hundredths in it, and three thousandths in it, which means that when we write it as a decimal, it will be zero comma, hang on, there's no tenths, so we need to put a zero in the tenths place, and then a two in the hundredths place, and a three in the thousandth place. We can use our same little trick. Have a look here. One, two, three zeros. So the little trick that we can use is to say we go from here one, two, three steps back and put the comma. Now there's a gap, so we need to fill in a zero in the gap. And so using our little trick, we get exactly the same answer. 0, 0, 0,023. Okay, so let's just do a couple more examples so we make sure that we've got it. If we wanted to write 123 over 1,000 as a decimal, well, let's just use our little trick. We have one, two, three zeros, and so we can go one, two, three steps back, put in our comma, and as a decimal, it is zero comma, one, two, three. Or if we had something like five over a thousand, well, we know what that should look like. It should be zero comma, zero, zero, five, because we just have a five in the thousandth place. But let's see how our little trick would do it. Our trick would tell us one, two, three zeros. So what we need to do is start at the five and go one, two, three steps back and put the comma in. They're gaps, so we must put zero in the gaps and what we'll get is zero comma, zero, zero, five. If we have something like 62 and 37 thousandths, well, we know that we have the 62 before the comma. Now we've just got to figure out what we do after the comma. Well, 
one, two, three zeros. And so we know that we have to go one, two, three steps back before we put the comma. And we have to have a zero in the space. So we know it will be 62, comma, zero, three, seven. Let's have a look at going in the other direction. So if we had zero, comma, zero, five, six, what would that be if we needed to write that as a fraction? Well, we know our place value, that what we have here is we've got nothing in the units, nothing in the tenths space, we have five in the hundredths space, and six in the thousandths space. So we can write that we have five of the hundredths, and we have six of the thousandths. Now we need to make that into a single fraction. How do we add two fractions? Well, we need to find a common denominator. The one denominator is 100, the other one's 1,000. So obviously the common denominator we're going to use is 1,000. To turn 100 into 1,000, we need to multiply by 10. If we multiply the bottom of the fraction by 10, we need to multiply the top of the fraction by 10 and we get 50 over 1,000. And then we still have the 6 over 1,000, and so we get our answer as 56 over 1,000. Now we can simplify this fraction down if we want to, but at the moment we're not too concerned about that. We just want to be able to move easily between fraction forms of decimals, fractions and decimal forms of numbers. Let's just check because we could quite easily see how to do this without having to do any particular work by just using our trick again. Can you see in our fraction, our decimal form of it, we have got one two, three places after the decimal comma. And in the same way, we've got one, two, three zeros in the denominator. And that's an easy little trick for being able to see how to do it. So we can actually almost immediately get the answers using that trick. Let's just have a look at another example. Say we had naught comma two, three. Using the little trick, we can say there are one, two places after the decimal comma, so we need to have one, two zeros in the denominator. And you should be able to see quite easily that we do get the correct answer doing this, because zero comma two three is equal to 23 over 100. And we could check that by writing it out in this full way that we did before, but we need to be quick about this, and so we're going to use the little trick just to help us convert between decimals and fraction forms.